Hey guys, this video is for people who are brand new to web design, somebody who wants to put up a website, but you don't want to use a website builder like a Squarespace or Wix because you don't want to be bound by that system. So you want to learn a little bit of web design, but you don't have time to do a whole entire course. So what can you do? What can you do so that you can put up a site and keep control and then you can come back to it when you have time to learn the full web design uh, routine, if you will, the full web design skill set, then you can come back to it later and make modifications as you need. This is a good strategy, by the way, for people who are setting up a small business because you got maximum flexibility and um, maximum control without having to become a total nerd. So let me just jump into it. This is actually based on a question this video anyway is based on a, video, a question that was put to me. So I just read some of the questions. Stefan, I purchased your studio web courses, but I have a question. You mentioned several times that you use web design tools, boxes, kits. He's talking about templates. Whatever your term you want to use many times to save time. So a web template is basically a prefabricated website. And with just minimal web design skills, HTML5, a little bit of CSS, you can go in there, take a template, modify it, change it the way you want, and quickly put up your own site and have maximum control. You can host it where you want, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Since I can't spend as much time as I like to get up to speed in self-development, what web design tool would you suggest I use to build a site quickly one that I can come back to and modify after my skills improve. I don't want to use a web design system like Squarespace since they'll force me to use their hosting or something similar, and I don't want to lose control of my site. Yeah, the tools like uh, Wix and uh, et cetera, uh, Squarespace, they're fine, they have their purpose, but uh, they uh, make their money over the long term with hosting. So they give you this nice looking web design um, uh, toolkit, if you will, but you're limited by that toolkit and you have to host with them. And so if you want to move into more advanced hosting, you may have some limitations there. Not everything is good all the time and not everything is bad all the time, but understand when you're using a web builder, you're limited by the functionality of the web builder. But if you leverage a web design template, which you can get, you can get for free, or you can buy them for a one-time cost of 20 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and then you have total control of your site. So there you go. So what you need to do, my answer is, um, you just do the basics, I'm going to talk about my course, but you do my Studio Web HTML5 and CSS course. I got a web design package if you want to do that. And just doing the HTML5 and maybe the first third of the CSS, that will give you enough skills and confidence and capability to be able to modify just about any template to whatever uh, you want to do with it. So that is my suggestion if you want to go that route. Let me close off with this. A good friend of mine runs a travel tourism business and he told me, and they do millions. And he said one of the most important skills he ever developed, he ever learned, was basic HTML and basic CSS. It helped him so much just getting his first site up and running. And even later on when he was working with uh, professional web designers and developers, because he understood the basics of coding and web design, he was able to make much better judgment calls with regards to uh, furthering his site as he needed to, as he built his business and also just being able to just being able to communicate with the web professionals. So here there you go. I hope this helped. This is for people brand new to the subject, a little outside of my uh, normal audience. And uh, there you have it. If you want to learn web design and development, or you want to get into the entrepreneur and the freelancing courses that I have, I've teamed up with a hosting company, the link below. They will pay for your entire courses if you want. You have two choices. You get the web stack or you can get the freelance course and the entrepreneur course and they'll pay for it. So you just click on the link below. You click through. It'll take you to killer sites. You choose whatever hosting. You just got to buy hosting from them for a year. You can get the lowest level hosting that they have. They're a very reputable hosting company. If you're getting into freelance, you're starting your career as a developer or even if you're going to get a job, 
you got to learn to put up a website and you got to learn about hosting, getting your site up and et cetera, et cetera, put up a portfolio site, et cetera. If you're selling yourself as a developer, you're not going to do this with a Wix or a Square site. You got to show that you know the real deal. So at some point or another, you're going to have to get a website at some point or another. So you might as well get this hosting company pay for your training. And you just got to buy one year hosting from them. It's affordable. It's a repeatable site. It's a repeatable company based in California. And um, that's it. Take advantage. Get the training for free. And to be clear, if you're doing the web stack, this gives you access to the interactive studio web training, which has all the uh, built-in capabilities, the quizzing and the help. It's a very sophisticated training platform that people love. So you can get it for free. Check out the links below. All right, we'll talk soon.